Hello and welcome to QPAC's Creatory. Here today with us are the Kransky sisters who will be here at QPAC in December for a very Kransky Christmas. Today we're talking with Eve, Morn and Dawn about a few of their favourite Christmas things. Welcome to QPAC ladies, it's lovely to have you. Lovely to be here, lovely, thank you. Yes. You're all so talented. Tell me, what's your favourite instrument to play? Mine has to be the cheese grater. Cheese grater. Yes. Well, I like the toilet brush. Yes, that's all. And I like to put a ribbon on it at Christmas. That's right, yes. Yes, yes. and Dawn likes the penny whistle, but no adornment. She's allergic to tinsel. No adornment for Dawn, no. And what's your favourite Christmas treat? Our favourite Christmas treat is White Christmas. That is Kofa and cornflakes, you know. And also last year, of course, we made a Christmas pudding and we decided that we would dry our grapes to make sultanas on our hills hoist. The problem was they fermented and the opossums had quite a party. Couldn't yes. sleep, could we? Sleep, no. Couldn't sleep, no. What would you like to get for Christmas? Oh, heavens. I think I'd like a lavender bag to put into my underwear drawer. Yes, takes away the smell. Yes, that would be like Dawn. She wants a light bulb for her laundry room, don't you? So you being in the dark. Yes. Jasmine Boyle said that I should ask for a G-string. Jasmine Boyle doesn't know what she's talking about. She wears mini skirts. Do you know what one of those is? No. It's a pair of pants with no bottom in them. Oh dear. Um, well, on to something else then. What goes into your Christmas hamper? What gifts do you give your family and friends? Well, uh, we always make our gifts at home. Eve made an excellent Mr. Choco head for dawn last year's Christmas. And matchsticks for the yes. yes. And I make toffee prunes, you know. Toffee prunes on sticks, you know. They're wonderful, you know. A sweet treat is always nice and it has such a cleansing finish. Dawn, uh, she makes us every year a, a collage out of the lint that she gets from the dryer that sits next to her bed. It's amazing how far the lint can stretch, isn't it? One whole year's worth of lint. Every year we look forward to our lint surprise. Lint surprise. Kranskys, you grew up in Esk. What was it like growing up in that country town? Well, we always, uh, of course, grew up doing a lot of chores, Eve and I. Eve was made to collect the rabbit traps and I had to siphon the thunderbox into the vegetable custom. After Dawn was born, when our stepfather came along, then, uh, of course, we used to play games in the backyard. One pin bowling. Dawn was the pin. Tell me, what's your favourite time of day? Our favourite time of day, favourite time of day. That would have to be dusk, wouldn't it? Oh, dusk, yes. yeah, dusk. Because that's when we have our hot milk and arrowroot biscuit, sit in our chairs and count the rows of stitches in the doilies. Such fun. Such fun. That does certainly sound like fun. You're very musical. Uh, if there was a song that represented your life, what would it be? Well, I think that would have to be Sisters are doing it for themselves. After all, you know, we've always cooked for ourselves. We don't have husbands. And finally, who is the most annoying sister? Well, Eve can be rather annoying at times when we're in the Morris. She falls asleep and her knee can go up against the gear stick. We once travelled all the way to Toowoomba in first gear. First gear. Dawn's silence is quite annoying at times. Moon, you're never annoying. Yes, thank you Eve, I'm never annoying.